Sorry about that. Angus once called IROC and so I just want to hold a moment of silence for his passing very brief. That we're uh, trying to gather all the grief and joy that we feel in reflecting on how our lives were touched by Ira. Whether it was touched by him directly or whether it was not, I want you to just uh, feel this, this space for him, okay? So here we are. And try to try to keep it for the moment of silence. and his legacy will live on. So, just to get to the point here, uh, Ira would have read this poem tonight. It's called The Ballad of the Gorn McLeese. So, uh, shortly after Angus McLeese died on summer solstice uh, 1979, uh, Ira wrote this poem about his friend, Angus. And uh, his son, Raphael, who can't be here with us tonight, Ira's son, uh, asked me to read this poem, which uh, I think is beautiful, and I want to share it with you. It's on the wall over there if you want to check it out. This is a quote from an Angus poem called Jaguar. In the fire there was no end, but in the tall grasses, but on the river banks, but in the cool breezes urging, but in the long, empty days from Jaguar. So that was the Juan McLeese by Albert Cohen. Uh, for Angus McLeese died summer solstice, June 21st, 1979. In the poem, one can lay down the hard line. The heart can bring tears muffled by the sound of the drum, your gamelan's cut by the Buddha's knife of compassion. Down at the snowman, I heard them discussing your cremation. A dervish has fallen off the roof, the tall skinny one with the coat hanger shoulders. I know the way the pillars of the vision tremble before you in the sunlight. You saw the door of Kona open in the slums of Brooklyn, where life shafted through abandoned factories now the shades of Mecca are drawn for you, poet, to find the only blues transcend your deep freeze and await your burning with gloss of five wisdom colors. Your unsatisfied cravings fly out of the fire. The blessings of your friends tackle with heat, the white and black tilsy sesame burn in untrammeled day, and still you are wandering, Angus, passing through the bardo's evil. Listen once more to those Tibetan mourners there calling you past Freak Street, where you sold the white goddess for junk. Forget all your regrets and go now with the egret. Put on your robe of sky. The vagabond, maverick, poet, McLeese has left these burning holes. The wind traps are wild with sound. I see her hands beating on a Persian rhythm of suitcases of itinerant dreams. I hear the droning of diesel boats flies making clear the ghastly way. An opera undone by a chorus of 108 democracia. Singing your discarded lists of chamberlains, symphonic poems, untold futures. You bump cigarettes from land. Borrowed time and change from Krishna. Now your balance is finally broken, so go in peace to the Buddha fields. Nodding into the sound of your talking, the pain is over. A new wheel is spinning its song. Tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock, we will meet at the Venusauri God, for you is free. This one-way ticket, which is non-transferable. Remember that before you try to come back, may light, might your, may, may light mantle your shadow, and may you not see what is not to be seen. Farewell, Nicholas, going on the river bay. I do not expect to meet your light again. Farewell, brother. The shadow of Don Quixote lowers its lance and you are overstood. And that poem was written by Ira Cohen on uh, June 27, 1979 in Catmandu. And uh, I will be here reading it for you now who is also in the Buddha fields. Uh, the love that everyone is feeling here tonight is uh, associated with uh, his memory and his legacy. And without further ado, uh, we're proud to have the Google Ray House Band. Everybody give it up. Yeah.